I tried to call my wife, but she hasn't answered and says she's too busy to talk. I texted, I had questions about what went on at the photo shoot, and she replied at first, sexiness, you like? Welcome back to They Did What? Your source for the internet's craziest, most entertaining stories where I go with them, analyze them, and most certainly make fun of them. Today, going to go over a story title. My wife, a 30-year-old female, did a very sexy photo shoot as a favor to her photographer friend and me. I actually found out she did some of the pictures with another guy, early 20s. I honestly don't know what to do. That story is about a guy. He has been married for a little while. He, uh, they have, he and his wife have this friend who's a photographer, well-known, well-respected woman who's a photographer, 60s. And they do photo shoots and all that. And they've gotten deals on wedding pictures and all that. And for whatever reason, his wife decided to do a photo shoot with her. Like a sexy photo shoot, that type of thing. As a man, I'll never get this, but whatever. And lo and behold, this guy finds out that uh, she was doing the photo shoot with also a younger dude. A young guy, obviously in very good shape. That's neither here nor there. And they were doing the photo shoot a lot of very... Uh, interesting positions amongst many other things and kept this from him and as you can understand this guy obviously has a serious issue with this and it's all about him finding this out figuring out what the hell's going on here and how the wife and the photographer react to the situation it's gonna be quite interesting but not at all surprising to you guys so it starts off he says here this is such a complicated issue so i will do my best to make it complete but short my wife is great friends with one of our city's high-end wedding photographers named Gina. Gina is her code name. Gina is in her 60s or so. She is supremely talented and also a nice person. We have gotten huge discounts on everything from wedding to baby, baby to family pictures. My wife recently lost all her baby weight and became really fit by following a low-carb diet and doing a natural movement workout plan. Gina asked her to come do a uh, photo shoot for her so she could put my wife's pictures on her website as an example of a fit, sexy mom. We had many, many discussions, and I was all for it right from the beginning because it's hot. My wife was worried about employer, employers, friends, and family seeing them, but eventually she figured she'd worked hard and there'd be no nudity, and what the hell. So let's, let me, I'm going to read this one more time so we're all on the same page of what she said. Wife was worried about employers, friends, and family seeing them, but eventually she figured she'd worked hard and there'd be no nudity and what the hell. Okay, so if she's really worried about employers and family and all seeing that, then, well, that makes one question why what happens happens. Unless these concerns were complete and total bullshit. But no nudity. Uh, it's very important to know, we talked about this nightly for at least a week, and went over every, about every, everything, and I thought everything was on the table. So you thought. So the pictures are stunning. <clears throat> Gina hired a spectacular makeup artist, and my wife looks like a supermodel. Supermodel or super W-H-O-R-E. I mean, they are spectacular pictures. Minimal Photoshop, too. When the pictures went up on the site, Gina sent me a very classy, hardbound book of photos with a note saying, thank you for being so cool with this, and it's one of my favorite things I've ever done. So, let's take a second again to review the whole attention and validation thing for women. His wife is 30 years old. What happens at 30? That's the number all women hate and fear, because they know damn well that's when the perceived market value, in terms of looks and all that, Dram drops dramatically. Like driving a car off the, the, the dealership lot. Drops in value. Even if it has two freaking miles on it, it's like you drive that car off the dealership lot, it drops in value. Same thing when a gal hits 30, it is what it is. And they know it. She hits 30. Had the kid. She still wants to know that she's got it. Hot, desirable, all that. Lost the weight, got in shape, which I admire. But now, I have to wonder, it's just an accident that her friend brought this whole thing about the photo shoot. Attention to validation. Uh, it's important to note the timeline here. Pictures were taken in May. The pictures went on the website in late June. I got the book this week. Wife is out of town with the baby to visit her mom and dad. Uh, late Wednesday, I got an email from Gina which basically said, Happy 4th. 
I wanted you to go through these digital proofs to see if there's any others that you like. It's actually a link to a secure website where I have a username and password. So I logged in and all the first series of pictures were variations of ones I'd already seen. Lingerie. Lingerie. This is the girl who was concerned about her employers or other people seeing this. Lingerie, implied nude, gym gear, and the like. Then it got into a series of full nude pictures, which I was like, awesome. Why didn't these make it into my book? When I clicked on the next page, I could clearly see that in, that in the thumbnails, there were two people. I opened one, and it is my wife in, in sort of an embrace that looked like the cover of a romantic novel. The guy also looked like a model and was super ripped. With these, I was, I was a little like, okay, but with all the discussions we had, why didn't she say there would be a guy there? There is no way in hell that if this, his wife, is friends with this photographer, that this wasn't planned out, there wasn't going to be a guy there in the picture, okay? And not a guy just standing there looking silly. I'm talking about a guy and them embracing and getting in interesting positions. You guys can figure that one out. Believe me, she was aware of this. And she didn't tell him. Not cool. Uh-uh. It was enough for him to say, okay, go for this and all that. They talked about it at length. You all heard. This is deceitful. This is lying. And one could argue cheating. Because also he has to question, well, you're about to see, were well, there are other things going on? It's a fair question. And if the situation was reversed, you bet your ass. A wife would be all over this. And there'd be steam coming out of her ears and fire coming out of her mouth like a fucking dragon and it would be full on her laying waste if he was there with a naked chick. I say that the series is 50 pictures long with each one getting more and more risque. Define risque. My wife ends up going from like a business suit to just her panties. The guy has his underwear on and all of them but in certain pictures he's laying on top of her. To look like he's kissing her neck, his hands are definitely on her breast. He's holding her from behind with his hand just out of shot, but implied he's just touch and he's touching her crotch. This guy has every right to have a serious problem with this. There is no way she didn't know this was going on. Tension validation. How many of these gals start off on Instagram? Showing a little, a little this, a little that, they get attention. Then they start revealing more and get more attention. And they start revealing a lot more and getting more attention. And then they try out OnlyFans. And now they can get guys paying to see that. And they start with nudes, some attention. Then some videos, more attention. And then videos of her doing said acts, oh, a whole lot of attention and getting paid for that. It's like a drug, the attention validation. I'm sexy, I'm wanted, I'm 30 now, I still got it. This is bullshit. I don't blame this guy for being pissed off having an issue at all. No, but no guy watching this would want his wife, you know, with another dude on camera doing all these things. I don't want to hear it. it's modeling and that bullshit. Uh-uh. He didn't agree to this. By far, the worst is the last picture, where it's just a picture of her butt with his face. Her butt, her butt in his face. Let me read this one more time. A picture of her butt with his face and the top of her thong in his teeth, sort of pulling it away from her body. This is probably when uh, she would say, that's Hector and Hector is gay. So it doesn't matter. Yeah, bullshit. I looked at the pictures, absolutely stunned for 30 minutes. I emailed Gina saying, basically, Gina, what is this? This is way more than I thought it was going to be. That's all he said. I'd be on the phone with Gina saying, what the fuck is this? After I talked to my wife. She has not replied and I tried to log back in and my password has been changed. And Gina won't send me another one. The girls stick together. This is his good friend Gina, the photographer. Clearly she screwed up and he wasn't supposed to see these things. I tried to call my wife, but she hasn't answered and says she's too busy to talk. You're going to drop everything, honey, and we're going to talk right now. <clears throat> I texted, I had questions about what went on the photo shoot, and she replied at first, sexiness, you like? Now she's not responding at all, so I guess it is Gina told her about the slip-up, and she doesn't know what to tell me. And you know what? He was never going to find out. I'm lost, like literally lost. 
My wife has so many chances to tell me this was the plan if it was that all along. It was that all along. I don't even think I would have said an outright no, but just asked for some boundaries. Like, don't have that guy's lips near your ass or second base. If my wife didn't know what Gina sprung this on her, why didn't she say, say no or even enforce her own boundaries? It looks like she was having a great time in the pictures. If these are the ones Gina accidentally sent me, are there are there more, or do they get more literal hardcore? Could be. Remember, this is with a young guy, wrong, young, good-looking, really jacked guy. And you bet your ass she knew about this. And this is the wife who was put on the show of being, you know, ambivalent towards this whole thing for multiple reasons. And so I guarantee you that if she had an issue with taking photos with this dude here, with her thong in his mouth and all that, she wouldn't have done it. Uh, So they know what they're doing. My wife is probably panicking right now as well, and I assume Gina is as well, Neither, and they'll never, neither will speak with me. Wife comes home on Sunday morning. How do I even begin to have this conversation with her? What do I say And when, when, when I see her? Smack. Bro, grow a fucking pair. Stop asking questions that, as a man, you want to know the goddamn answer to. You contact her and say, and you, he's obviously going to get the message, you know what this is about? Call me back right fucking now. Click. She doesn't call back. Pack your shit. She knew what she was doing. She doesn't res- This is an action of disrespect. And the fact that she's not talking to him really shows up to a whole new level. He should not let this slide. Okay, this is a betrayal. She's lying, deceiving. They're both in on this shit. And I don't want to hear that, oh, Hector's gay, so it doesn't matter. No, 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 no. We don't believe that Hector's gay. This is well planned. And this guy needs to handle this accordingly. I wouldn't tolerate this bullshit. A lot of you guys wouldn't tolerate this bullshit. And again, if he was doing a photo shoot, think about this. For whatever reason, if he was doing a photo shoot, let's just play along here, and there was this like 22-year-old smoking hot girl there, and she was, and the wife saw these pictures like he did, and, this, and he's there in these, this photo shoot, butt naked with this 22-year-old smoking hot girl, way better looking than her, I might add with her face near his ass or on the other side near his uh, snake and doing many things. You tell me that the wife wouldn't have a problem with this. They wouldn't be laying, saying all sorts of things like lying, cheating, all sorts of stuff like that. You all know darn well. And you women watching, you know darn well you'd have a problem that was your husband. So this guy, it's warranted. I wouldn't tolerate this shit. But you can see how she perceives her husband here by the way she's behaving. What she did before the photo shoot, what she did during the photo shoot, and what she's doing now that she knows that she's caught. You can see, because does it sound like, through her actions, that she has great respect for him, sees him as a catch, or does she see him as the, as, as what is called the beta, beta male provider type? That's what I think. This guy needs to be, grow some balls, lay down the law, and the story. That's what I think. Now some comments here, because the comment section had quite a array of views on this thing. One guy says here, for the first time on this sub, I'm at a loss as to what to say to you. This was was super not cool. There's no way your wife didn't know there would be another guy ahead of time, as your friend is a professional photographer, and I would assume goes about her job in a professional manner. I wouldn't doubt she intentionally didn't tell you. As for the reasons why she did it in the first place, I'm also unsure. Attention and validation. And insecurities about her age. That's what I think. All I can say to you is that you and her need to have a serious talk and figure out what you're going to do about this. This was a major trust violation, and I can definitely see why you're upset. I would be too. The other guy says, now this guy is actually defending the wife. We get these on occasion. This guy says, I'm actually going to disagree with this. I think such and such is quite literally likely accurate. I think the wife showed up for the uh, shoot, was given a glass or two of wine to help relax, And after things were going smoothly, the photographer likely said, do you mind if we do a few more for my portfolio? I have another model I often work with. Don't worry, it's all very professional. I don't buy that bullshit for a second. What, what, this guy was like hiding in the closet and out comes Hector in his thong. The next shoot progresses and the photographer is very professional and the male model is being respectful. And now the photographer starts ratcheting things up. Do you mind if we undo a button here? How about a topless shoot from the back? Just turn a little this way, shoulder back. Turn a little more, 
Bill, put your hand here. Wife might might, might what my ugh, God damn it. Wife might now be mortified at what she gets herself talked into. Listen to this guy making excuses for her. this is bullshit. It's probably a woman writing this. I know that's I know that this forum's default setting is to advise you to get a gym, delete, and get a lawyer and hit Facebook, but I think this might be salvageable. It might not be unreasonable to insist your wife drop her friendship with Gina. It is unlikely that Gina will be willing to delete the pictures, but maybe she'll be willing to, as a condition of salvaging the friendship, or even because she's a decent person and didn't realize this would be a problem. What a load of crap. This is bullshit. Another guy says here in defense of this guy, the fact that they aren't talking to you speaks volumes. Always pay attention to people's actions. Do not believe you're going to hear the whole truth and nothing but the truth. The lack of communication at this point should prevent any belief you have in what they decide to tell you. I can't imagine going through this while kept in a damn silo. Best of luck, and I hope you find out enough of the truth to make a good decision. And last one, this guy says, Your wife is not panicking. She's trying to get her narrative straight with this Gina and, and the guy characters. Sorry, pal, but you're being played. A normal wife would abandon all work and busyness to bend over backwards for an immediate explanation or even just to comfort you. The husband. I guess she doesn't even care about your state of mind after seeing the photos. Yeah, her actions tell him everything he needs to know. And the actions of this Gina chick. But this guy has every right to come down like a ton of bricks, read her the riot act and all that. Do, do I think this guy, based on the way he's describing the story, is going to really uh, handle things the way a lot of us guys would? Probably not. Which is why she no doubt did what she did is treating him this way. Well, this goes to show you guys, your, your lady has to respect you. Otherwise, you're going to be walked all over. And no, and I said this before a million times and I'll say it again. And I know I'll say it another million times as long as I do these channels. Women will never love a guy they don't respect. And they don't respect a guy that's a pushover that treats him like the queen, is weak, all that. So you can't behave that way. For you relationship guys, and you guys have had successful relationships, you know what I'm talking about. And it doesn't mean you're walking around being a jerk and being bossy and, and cruel and mean. No, not at all. Is that you put yourself first. And you check people, anybody that give you disrespect, give you a hard time. And women, you have to. And it doesn't mean, like, you know, she shows up 10 minutes late for something and you're yelling at her screaming but no you bring it up or many other things if she just has a bad day and she's being bitchy with you you call her on that even if she's having a bad day it doesn't matter and if she respects you loves you she'll apologize and you get the point self-respect guys and you get that self-respect by self-improvement building yourself up making something of yourself so that you know that you're a catch and you don't take shit from anybody and you're a good guy and by doing that you have that aura about you and that way it draws the gals in. And you have that drive and ambition. But they don't come first. They come last. Your ambitions, your goals, your purpose, your growing, that comes first. They like ambitious men. They like strong men. And she's good to you. You're good to her back. She's loyal. She's supportive. She's loving. Minimal drama. Takes care of herself. Fun to be around. You're the same way back to her, of course. And But there's no bullshit. You call her on her bullshit. Because there will be bullshit. And sometimes it'll be bullshit just to see if you have any balls. And if she senses that your masculinity slipping, she'll test. And if you don't call her on it, you don't check her, there'll be more tests. She wants you to act like a man. And so when I hear stories like this, it tells immediately the way she perceives her guy. I don't want this type of bullshit to happen to you guys that are in relationships or relationship guys. Strength, gentlemen. You know, to be a jerk, a jerk, a dick. I was going to say jerk and dick at the same time. To be a dick or a jerk, but you get my point. So, I'll be looking for updates to see how this guy handles the situation. All right, guys, that's it for today. Be sure to comment down below. I want you to think about this. Let me know. Do you think uh, she's having a full-on affair with Hector? That's what I'm calling him. Or other things are going on behind the scene. I'd like to hear about that. Or do you think uh, the wife was just this innocent victim and her friend just pulled Hector out of the closet to, for the photo shoot? And, you know, I'd like to hear about that. And be sure to like the video, share it with your friends, and subscribe. I'll catch you next time.